Alright, sorry for the delay. Um, I'm gonna go... Sorry, I had to move the microphone because I had it in the right place, but I wasn't in the right place myself, so then I moved it to the right place. Where are you, controller? Oh. Move you there. Alright, cool. Uh, let's start off by uh, getting some arms. Perfect girl. Oops. I'm still not used to the pro controller. Bad at this, I'm judging. The games are hard, man. Give me. I'll see. I got the dragon. I really want that. Nice. Toaster. I like the tri blast a lot, but I think the tri bolt will be a little more useful with the um. What's the um? We'll put cheaper. so weird using a pro controller. I just want to go back to using a Joy-Con. I am the outlier of the community.
Yes. Alright, let's see what I got. Made a parasol channel. Nice, that's what I wanted. Roaster just seems like that would be good. Um, over toaster one and better at this game. A very weird noise. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. I got a new record. Nice. Oh, I got badges too. Get those badges, please. Up at the arms. Each and every one has been. I love how incompetent the arms like is. It's ridiculous. Hilarious. It feels like Nintendo really likes having like mysterious higher ups that control shit from the shadows and then they're just stupidly incompetent like uh like they'll have like the Octolanes be like a super advanced race that should be much smarter and have won over the uh squids. But they only lost because they didn't bring long enough extension cords. Alright, I was able to get to 5. I don't think I'll be able to do 6. Um, okay, so these count, so I don't have to do them for this because I was up there. Um, God, this is gonna upset me <laughs> if I play this, I feel. How far it up? Oh. How high up do you guys go? Stationary won't move. Ready? Uh oh, there is a random over there. <laughs> I was thinking of picking her being girl. Uh. Go temple grounds. Pop is cool. He's interesting at the very least. Uh, do I watch? This is jump. No, no, that's not jump. This is jump. Okay, got you. went right through her. It, it curved slightly because I moved it slightly. Uh, I 
Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to see if that would actually hit. Hey, I think I learned a little bit on how I should deal with the base of characters. Um, punch right through you. The pop. Ooh, nice. Damn it, I thought she was gonna attack. I used that completely wrong because I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Uh, what do you think is the best mechanic? Oh, Coil. Dr. Coil, but like, definitely. Like, she is... See, like, I hate Min Min because Min Min... Good Min Min's are fucking impossible to play against, kinda. Um, but Dr. Coil is like, the best character. Literally because her mechanic... Like, she has really good aerial game. And... I hate her special mechanic of just randomly having an extra arm. Because then she becomes less predictable. And that's honestly like... Like I like her as a character. I think she's really cool. But I hate in competitive video games any sense of like randomness. Like I always think it's kind of bullshit. Oh, uh, they all come close together so no. I'll do it like this. Like I hate random critical hits in RPGs. Um... Uh, Something I hate in League a lot. Which made me like the initial um appearance of Storm Razor for a little bit. But they fucked that up by like setting it to be really weird. Um Wait, what? I did not hit that button! Um... Like, the extra arm is just so powerful if you put in, um, if you mix it with the, um... Uh, aerial superiority that she just has. Um... She has some of the strongest bullying and harassment. The strongest in the game would be, um, Max Brass, which makes them top tier. Under that would be Red Masanga. Um... Like those two just you, you can't contest them uh, when it comes to bullying and pressuring um, capabilities. Like they're just the best. Like bar none. Okay, I'm dead. Okay. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Trying to land that. Oh. Uh, Um, with Dr. Coil, she's just like stupid strong. Uh, Kid Cobra 
He plays on a really good, um... Oh, one second. I'm gonna be right, right back. Give me one sec. Alright, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. But, um... So, like, Kid Cobra, he's very good at, um... Pressuring and evading. Um... Twin Tell, she's just extremely good at poking, um... While having good bullying and pressuring. Uh, duh, sorry. Let's look at this. Um, hmm. This is strange. Um, how do I see? Gotta find something here. Um If I had to say who's the worst overall character, I would say Robocop. By the way. Like just putting that out here, it's kind of ass. He's also somewhat annoying to fight against. Um, but yeah, it's just, he's just ass. Uh, where the hell is this? Sorry, I like had something saved. Um. Yeah, I can't really find it. Um, that's fine. Um, and I, I like the little, I like the different playstyles. Um, of the characters. Um, if I had to say, so... Actually, I'll redact what I said earlier. So, okay, so if I had to list all the characters, um, like, if I had to put them, like, in a tier list of sorts or something like that, um, I would say the best character would probably be Dr. Coil, especially for, like, players that are really good at this game. Like, she's good at all levels, like, for beginners, Top tier players, um, like, and if you mix both of them, she just sits on top. Max Brass is, um, the same in that regard, but not as good as her. Um, Kid Cobra and Twin Tell follow suit. Um, I would say Kid Cobra for newer players. For newer players, stick to Min Min or Springtrap. Um, But if, we, if you want to talk about playstyles, I would say the king of bullying and pressuring is a uh, is a master mummy. Because if you do nothing, then he just heals a shit ton. So he you have to fight him. Um, the king of poking and zoning would be Helix, and then the queen of evasion would be Ribbon Girl. Dr. Coil sits on. She she's like one of the best bully bullies and pressures in the game, with good mixes of mix, uh, like a good mix up of evasion, due to her uh, aerial mobility. Um, and then Max Brass himself is just really good at poking and zoning because of his charged ability. Um, Kid Cobra is not as good at pressuring or bullying like Coil is, but um. He's pretty... He, he trades some of that power for evasion, essentially. Whereas Twintel gives a lot of her... Um, she, she, she pulls back on bullying and pressuring. That's her strongest attribute. Um, for a pretty decent amount of poking and zoning. Um, 
I think she's pretty interesting. Oh, do, do, do. Sorry, there was some stuff I had to help my dad with real quick. He just came home with some groceries. Um. Oh, hey, speaking of barking, bike. Oh, do, do, do. Oh. I had to respond to something on... Oh, wait, why do I have that as my... Um, those can punch through, I'm pretty sure so. My problem with Ribbon Girl is that I often try to punch in the air when I should, uh, punch- Or I try to punch with charge attacks when I should just, um, take the opportunity to punch. Oh, that I did- I pressed the wrong button. So not useless. Um, when I should just take more opportunities to take punches- Oh. I thought my fast fly was gonna be a bit. Nice. God, that was lucky! Oh, I let that go early. <laughs> Crap. Oh, why did I stand there and take that? Um, as long as I evade, I win, so. Okay. My general strategy with Ribbon Girl is that she honestly. Because she's so good at evasion. Like, I like to go in and hit shit, which is my problem. I should probably stop trying to take that kind of approach when I can just be like, Alright, I got one hit, time to just eat up the clock. I'm really glad that they nerfed the shit out of Twintel, by the way. They didn't nerf nerf the shit out of her, but she used to be insane. Like, she used to be the definitive top dude. Um, I lose this one. Oh. Felt like I made a bad choice in arms. What the hell? Okay. 
pretty generous hitbox there. I keep making myself miss. I actually kind of want to run that back again. I feel like I could do better. I'm done. Stupid fucking dog. Get out of my way. I pressed the thingy to block and it didn't block.
God damn, that was a lot of fucking damage. I lose this round. I feel. Yeah, I just lose this round. I feel like that would have hit if I didn't have Bark in the way of that. Alright, let's. able to like beat level 6 CPU before I go against other people. Is this a turn at legal stage, by the way? I hope not. I like, picked it. I fucking no. I'm not fucking doing this stage. Oh.
Oh god. Ow. Like, she also can go invisible, which... Oh, thank you. Put this up. I'll check your face in a second. It's hard to read her get-ups. God damn it. Desperation. <laughs> Thanks, Hyper. I hope you're doing well. Ow. Take that! <laughs> I'll do that one more time. Oh god. Okay. Is a general character.
Oops, I meant to only shoot one fist. Keep fat fingering into both hits. Like, it's almost impossible to fucking hit her. Unless she makes really big mistakes, that feels. Okay, she wins. Oh no, okay. Donna Burke? Is that a Royce hacker? Sounds like Donna Burke. Like, the fuck game. Like, her shadow doesn't disappear, yes, but like, she fucking disappears. Little fives until they get a little bit better.
I'm just gonna knock all of them down. This will work. Sorry, not hyper rush. That was really stupid of me for the timing on the rush attack. It'd be nice if I could just change the map. Oh god, not you again. Okay. seems here. God, I kind of wish I had something like electrical to keep her in place.
doing so much better against level 5s, and I feel like I'm learning. But like, I feel like I'm learning more from level 6, but I'm not improving when I'm fighting against level 6. But am I improving when I'm fighting against level 5s? <laughs> nice! <laughs> Said oink or boing. Oh God, no. but not like as much of a challenge as 6. So like, am I really improving? Or... I mean, like, I'm having fun. I was having fun against 6s too, even though I was getting my ass kicked. God damn, that was a lot of damage there. I'm playing on uh, Pro Controller. My most preferred method is a uh, Joy-Con sideways. Uh, but my Joy-Con is fucked up because you know how Nintendo makes quality products like they used to. You know. <laughs> I want to change my little icon. Oh 
god. That was actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie, that was cool as fuck. That was actually also really cool. Oh god damn it, I fucked up the timing. Wow. Dude literally was just like, I'm gonna use the smallest little fucking edge to hide my body. Alright, uh... Literally, if he didn't have that, uh, shield, he would probably be doing so much better, because that, that's one of the... That is objectively one of the worst arms in the game, um, versatility-wise, because you, it requires you to play around it. Rather than you playing with it. Um, it functions very strongly as a shield. However, um... Like the nade, the tribal, um, the tri blaster, the um, toaster, and I think it's the roasters, the one that's that one. Um, like they're they're just incredibly versatile, and they fit every single playstyle. Um, but yeah, it's just it's like I I don't know. I don't feel like it's very potent. Uh. Like it's a standard counter, a counter, but skill alone might be sufficient with it, you know. But um, like I, w I would rather a, uh, like a tribal, tri blast, uh, toaster, popper, I, uh, pretty much every glove in the game. I'm gonna wanna keep my distance from it. Which, like, I feel bad for Helix because most of his arms aren't that good. Like, his default arms aren't good. Away from me. Oh, 
Oh, uh, one good rush and I win. Oh, god. Beat it. God damn it. Thank you. Yeah, if you want to fight, let's go. I'm assuming you're wave bashing. I should have put the playing with viewers tag, because I don't mind playing with people. But yeah, just throw me your, like, DM me your, uh, code on Discord. I'm assuming I know who you are. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure I know you. But if not, just throw your... Just, just throw out the code and I'll play against you. Like, I didn't put it in the tags, but I probably should have. Like, the only reason why I didn't want to put it in the tags is that I feel like somebody's just gonna, like, show up and then beat my ass, like, silly, and then I'm gonna be like, cool, alright, I'm gonna go play this, and then they might get offended that I don't want to play anymore because I'm getting my ass beat. Like, I don't mind losing, but I don't want to get pub stomped. Because, like, again, when I was playing those level 6s, that was actually fun to me. I was losing, but I felt like I was still having fun. Like my main thing is that I want to have fun, and when I play with viewers, that doesn't necessarily is is not guaranteed. You know. All right. Uh, what is it? Uh, I don't- I think it's stu- wait, can you- oh, okay. Then you're not the person that I think you are. Um... I'm lying. Ready? Do you make rooms and stuff? get to go do that. I've literally never played online with anyone before, but... Um, uh, one, three, five, zero, one, six, six, three, six, one, four, three. Oh yeah, so we have met before. I'm pretty sure Mr. Bashful. Lobby. Take turns fighting in one on one matches, fight in a variety of stages. Uh, no code. Uh, what do I want to do? Playing Lola, uh, take the fun chuck, the fun chucks, because there's a badge you can earn if you play as River and Girl um, versus um, if you play Ribbon Girl versus Lola Pop, uh, Ribbon Girl with Sparky, Lola Pop with uh, fun chucks on Dulce something via Dulce. Uh, but you both have, you have to have like it both on. Uh, uh, Cause it's reenacting the uh, what's its face, the one of the title screens, I think version three. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot. Um, me. No, wrong thingy. Oh, that's cute. the one that I just unlocked. Oh no. I don't remember. Uh, just like do one. Like, I don't know if you need two rounds or if you just need one round. And then we can change fighter and when you change fighter you can change to whatever you want. It has to be a uh, dual. They have to be a uh, dual funchucks and dual sparkies. Oh gosh. Is it? Thank you. And now you're over there. just one of the largest fucking buttons or one of the largest fucking buttons on this controller like as I'm resting like my shit down uh try going double fun checks and then yeah um like you have to fucking be very conscious of it and I'm like oh, but I just want to relax in my controller on my lappy please
Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Alright, if I just stay in this corner over here, do I win? Get away from me. I will stand away from you. I don't appreciate this harassment that's going on over here. Oh god! Alright, then it's just whatever you want. Um, Grab would have worked if I didn't have rush too. Nice. That was good. I'm gonna check if the badge actually like went through. Um, and then I'll be back. That was a good match. Um, I hope it doesn't like destroy the lobby. I hope it keeps you as the lobby leader. Um, uh, badges. No? Oh, we weren't on Via Dulce! Ah, uh, fuck it. Whatever. Did we get to choose the map? The thingy? I don't think we got to choose the stage. Choose the stage. Um. Put arms. Um, what do I want to use? Black cherry soda. Oh god, I fucking hate this stage. This stage sucks. <gasps> so much ass. I'm gonna try to keep you away the entire time, I hope. I 
I didn't mean to do that. Ow! <laughs> That should have hit. All right, that one minute for me. That shit has an insane fucking reach. I want to do this again. Oh god. Should probably start throwing some punches eventually. Get that one. I believe you have slightly more health to meet me, so I have to try to approach. Nice. I'm okay with just keeping the health between us. Fairly similar. If that means little to no risks. Ooh, uh, oh. What the hell happened there? Uh, I think I win this. Yeah. It's really hard to hit Ribbon Girl with those slap amanders just because of how they curve. Um. Chocolate. This seems like a mistake in arms choice. I fucking hate these arms, these skate thingies. Uh, this is not a good stage for me. Most of the pant stages are really not good for um, Ribbon Girl.
looks like I have slightly more health, so I have the advantage here. Um, if we just keep it even, um, that rush should drop me down, um, if used correctly, though. Nice. Oh, shit, I tried to get out of the way. Oh god, that puts us not even? Oh no, okay, that last hit, what? I was really close though. Um... Ah, switching it up, is That was the weirdest fucking- I've never done that little damage with, like, an actual successful rush. Oh god. Camera's being really fucking jank. Should I use my other fist? Did you get Rush again? Did you use Rush the first round? Yes, you did. I'm pretty sure. Alright, sweet. I got my arms power back. Oh god. I got greedy. Literally, if it wasn't for this stupid fucking spinny thing, I might have actually grabbed you there. Yeah. Hey, that was a good one. Um, you should honestly try. Yeah, if you're against Ribbon Girl, Ribbon Girl is gonna just want to try to time you out always. Like that is our main thing. With Lollipop, yes and no. Because she's more of an evasive character. Um, generally speaking, when they fight new character, ooh, I'm scared. I would try the Ice Dragon on Lola, just so you can control enemies better once you hit your charged ship. Because if you could control me, you could very easily follow up with other attacks, or at least do good chip damage, and um, if you got those chip damages off, you probably would have won some of those rounds. Personally, if I was going Lola, I would probably go Biffler, um, Ice Dragon, um, Bunchuck is really good. Um, but I know you don't like the Hunchuck. Oh god, he's gonna schmoove. Oh, we both hit each other. 
Um, I didn't see that how much damage that did to me, but I think it was uh, only a hundred, so I'm slightly ahead. God, <laughs> this is the eva uh, the Pope King versus the Evasion Queen, and I have the high ground. Um, I'm trying so hard to keep the high ground. This has got to be a very not fun place just to go against. Um, if you try to get to my side and take the high ground for me, fucker. Okay, never mind. Uh, that was bad advice. Don't listen to me. <laughs> See, you complain about timeout, but I would have grabbed and win if you let me, okay? <laughs> um. Oh, this worked. I'm gonna go with it again. I would highly suggest uh, the Hydra on Helix so that you could just be, like, poking the fuck out of me super safely with a really janky hitbox. Oh god, no. Boing. I get tired of waiting. Try out the Hydra on Helix and see how much fun you have. That shit is just stupid. You just move around. I shouldn't give up. You will be defeated at some point. That's okay. Don't mind me, I'm just hoisting that right there. Hoisting. Hoisting. Hosting that right there. To be fair, I probably wouldn't count the first one. My character is more delicious than your character.
Oh god. Attempt to do it. God, the poppers is really fucking stupid against uh, DNA man. Jesus Christ, that just did not feel fair. No, these are good on some characters, uh, but not on Helix. Uh, buff Hydra. Um, I would suggest those two gloves for sure. Like, Ice Dragon is really good on, um, Lola. Oh gosh. Just slapped me up, aside, um, up against my head. Nice. Oh, fuck. That's good. You got oh. Um, what was I saying? Um, the buff, the Hydra, and either the Roaster, if you're really good, Toaster. Um, I would suggest Toaster with Helix, just because Helix moves around so fucking much. Um, the reason why I go with Toaster on Ribbon Girl is just because she moves so fucking much. Um, unless you're extremely good at manual base to... Then your base control, in which case the uh, roaster would be just the better of the two. Oh god. Uh, oh, fuck it. Just do this.
Damn it. Oh, if it let me throw the throw out, I might have won that. Nice. Uh. I hate this stage, by the way. I'm glad people don't fucking play it on competitive. I think it's just really stupid. It's just up and down. The game. Back to my safe place where you can't touch me. Oh god. Two backflips backwards, make sure I'm just not hit. Oh wait, actually I didn't wait, huh? Six set. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Oh god, I dropped 132 frames. Why did I do that? I'm probably gonna switch over to Mario Maker um, after this. Um, but while I switch, I'm probably gonna grab either some ice cream or some toast. Or I can do ice cream toast. 
Or I just get some ice cream between some pieces of toast. How does that sound? That sounds fucking weird, but I'll try it. That was a weird bit of lag that I just hit there. in that corner. This is stupid that I can just put you in the corner on the stage. Because of these. Punching through the fucking I'm gonna switch over to Mario Maker 2. Uh because that gets the viewers. Um uh, let me hit this button. Leave. That's okay. That was that was a really good matches. I had a lot of fun. Um I just feel like as long as you try out a few more arms, you'll find some that might work better for the character themselves. So like for example, with um Lola, you wanna keep opponents at a distance. And you don't wanna back foot as much as possible, which you kept um uh, like you you kept moving backwards as Lola. The thing about Lola is that she has a shit ton of possible moves that she can make all at once. So if you stay in the right position, um for me to do anything about it, I would need to do a bunch of reads and punish uh, punishes. Um, as for Helix, um, pretty much all 
arms are good on Helix, but what you want to do is use a like a barrage of reliable uh, art safe punches. Uh, as long as you mix up the timings of those uh, punches, you'll have to make people rely on um, timing and shield dashes. Like a uh, hallway jump. Um, so stuff like the Hydra would be good on capitalizing on that. Um, buff and Toaster would be really good on capitalizing that. Whereas Lola would just be really good at using the Fun Chuck to push people away, as well as deny attacks. The Buffler, um, you just make it impossible to see what's on screen. And Ice Dragon really controls the enemy's options, which um, puts them in a panic when they have to deal with you. Um, not super close to their face, but a pretty good distance towards their face. Um, so with that, I'll be right back. I'm gonna switch over to uh, Super Mario Maker 2. Um, let's close out of that. Those were good matches. Oh, fuck, I forgot. I gotta insert the game card. Um, so I'll be one quick second while I do that. So I'll be right back.